Scott, episode seven, last dance, your thoughts. Well, I was relieved. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it was Michael being hard on me, Michael pushing me to be the best player I can be. Um, there's, I'm sure there's more footage they could put in there and it showed me uh, him going at me more, but I was happy with what I saw. And I was also happy at the end when he said, uh, I'm a nice guy. There's nothing wrong with being a nice guy. Um, you said that there are some things that were omitted out of that video. What were some of the things? Do you remember back then? Well, if they're omitted <laughs> for the video, they're going to be omitted from this interview. Um, best Michael Jordan story. Uh, I, I think the best story for me is when I played one-on-one -on -one with him. Um, I, I think we were in Denver, and uh, I, I, sh I really should have won the game. I was up 6-5. He followed me, going for my seventh point to win the game. Obviously, he didn't think he followed me, and Ron Harper backed him, like always. And uh, he ended up, ended up beating me 7-6. And um, <laughs> I think the story after the game was the best part, when I said, let's play again. You know, we we're both heated. It was a battle. And he, he said... Why, am I, why would I play again? So you can tell your family you beat Michael Jordan. What am I gonna say? I beat Scott Burrell, they'll slap me in the face. And I thought that was a great story, it's funny. And um, I don't mind telling that story. You said, like you said, Michael Jordan said you were a great guy. How tough was his practices with Michael Jordan? It was unbelievable, I mean, it was game-like. It was, it, to be honest, it was harder than games. Um, it, because during games, he, you couldn't hear him yell or he wasn't gonna go at you as bad because there was other things he had to worry about, and that's winning the game. But he's meticulous. He, he's tough. He he um and he, he puts in the effort every day to be great. So if the best player in the world is putting the effort to be great, anyone else and everybody else better put the effort in to be great. Now, is there any chance we can get Michael Jordan on this video? Maybe we can Facetime him. No. <laughs> you can call him yourself. It's good luck. Um, you have his number, and you've been texting him. What are some of the things you've been talking about? That's between me and him. That's what I call text messages. Uh, um, no, but you you pretty much thanked my. I mean, you and Michael have a great relationship is what I'm trying to say. I, I thanked him for, number one, not being as hard as, as he could be in the video. But I thanked him for everything he's done. I, I love his, his honesty. I love his passion. And I wanted to become a better player. And I, 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 and I endured a lot. But I enjoyed what he, what he, how he pushed me and, and tried to make me a better player. I mean, if you go through Twitter, a lot of people say, you know, Michael was probably hard on you because you were drafted in the first round of Major League Baseball. So he wanted to play baseball. Do you think you could have struck him out? It wouldn't be a challenge. Um, he had a good, pretty good career batting 202 after not playing for 12 years, but it would still wouldn't be a challenge. Four and pitches. Four pitches. The first one's going right at his ribs for all the things he put me through. <laughs> so I'm taking him out with the first pitch. The next three are me strikes and he won't touch one of them. Do you think he went after you because you were a better baseball player? No. <laughs> I, I, I like the question. I don't think he went after me because I'm a better baseball player. I think he went after me because he saw a potential in me being a pretty good basketball player and he won the, the most from me.